Savings is keeping your first home just out of reach. Perhaps the Royal Bank of Scotland can help. We can arrange you a 100% mortgage and pay your legal and valuation fees up to £400. So if you want to get your hands on a house, talk to the Royal Bank of Scotland about our first-time buyer's package. Our Billy changes his mind as often as his socks. Great, Mum. He's a striker for United one minute and a sweeper for City the next. So in anticipation of these little foibles... Oh, carrots! I keep his favourite Findus lasagna in reserve. What effect this foresightedness might have on him this time, I've no idea. Ciao, Mama. Make a meal of it with Findus lasagna. Win a fabulous holiday for two in Paris with the Lanceric Can-Can promotion. Look out for the special packs of panache and the other classic Lanceric fragrances. I hope you'll be able to join me after 10.30 for this week's edition of Crossfire. Our political agenda includes an examination of the aftermath of the regional elections, an in-depth interview with a man charged with the task of selling Thatcherism in Scotland, and a look at the SNP's dream of independence. Next Monday at 7 on ITV, part two of The Greatest Game on Earth. It may be every schoolboy's dream to be a soccer star, but for every winner, there are losers too. Just one tackle can ruin a promising career. In The Greatest Game on Earth, next Monday at 7 on ITV. Hello, good evening. You're watching Grampian Television. The time is 10 o'clock. Now here's the news from Alistair Burnett and Julia Somerville. Thatcher to Heseltine. I'm listening, but I'm not going. The M1 plane crash, a pilot's asked about another emergency. The government forces a review on channel workers' safety. British Telecom is to lose 5,000 jobs. And the train robber Charlie Wilson is buried by his kind. Good evening. The Prime Minister has given a cautious reception to some of Mr Michael Heseltine's ideas for reforming the poll tax. He's again made it clear that any basic change to the community charge is out of the question. And in the Commons, Mrs Thatcher repeated that she had no intention of stepping down. Mr Heseltine said tonight he expected the poll tax and Mrs Thatcher to be in place at the next election. He'd set out his suggestions on the poll tax in the Times newspaper. He insisted he was not making a bid for the party leadership. Michael Heseltine.